Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Look what we got today. This is a Royal Enfield Meter 350. It's got the AEW pipe on the end. It's got the uh, Saddleman Highway bags, Motone bag racks, and it's got the uh, windshield off a of Meteor on it, off the Supernova. I think that's everything. There's the uh, price for this hot rod with everything. You know what I think we should do is take that hot rod for a ride. Let's do it. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Can you hear the pipe? I like it. It's got pretty good sound, I'd say. I rather like it. AEW pipe. The Meteor is probably the most mature of the 350s that Royal Enfield makes. Check it out here. I think the wheelbase is 55.1 inches. Look at how well this turns. That is about 1,400 millimeters. Ha! Almost did it. <laughs> Good sound. 349 cc single overhead cam engine. Puts out about 20 horsepower. Single cylinder, by the way. About 20 foot-pounds of torque. That's about 27 Newton meters. A very well-behaved motorcycle, I would say. Kind of does everything right. Very disciplined. Doesn't have any bad habits, so to speak. Five-speed transmission. I think the transmissions on these 350s are second only to the uh, transmissions on the interceptors. We're looking good here. We're going to turn up here a little short. <laughs> I took a Triumph on here earlier and totally blew the turn. <laughs> it was a very large motorcycle to say the least. The windshield on this works pretty good. I rode one of these about 100 miles uh, a little over a week or two ago. Did a video about that and I found it to be very comfortable. You know the seat is very good. Handlebars reach up to you. Your feet are forward. I like forward controls. These are mid forward I would say. Not all the way forward but close. Handling is very predictable. Let's see what this truck does. Do a little spin test here. These things spin like a dream, by the way. Look at that, huh? <laughs> just no trouble at all. I mean, this 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 bike just uh, handling it handling at low speed is its forte for sure. I like the exhaust. When I did that hundred mile review on that other meteor, I said it needed bags. This bike has solved that problem. The other thing I thought it needed was wider foot pegs, and uh, this bike could use those. I think if it was mine, it would do that. I'd say this is a good bike for a second bike for somebody that rides a lot and a very good bike for a beginner just simply because it's so well behaved and it's got such a low seat height. I think the seat height is 31, I'm sorry, 30.1, 30 inches, 0.1. I think that is 765 millimeters if I remember right. Also has a four gallon gas tank by the way, that's uh, about 15 liters. Let's do a quick spin test here because they know me. As you know me, I like spin test. I just love how these things turn. I mean, look at that. Absolute dream. If you're in the market for a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph or vintage motorcycle of any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. Or check out BaxterCycle.com. They've got everything you need. Look at this thing. It just spins around in a circle like nothing doing. They've also got all kinds of apparel, accessories, parts, backpacks, boots, everything. You name it, they got it. Wahoo! And they got it in stock. <laughs> the more I ride this, the funner it gets. Uh, the riding of this bike. So in the garage, pushing this thing around the garage, that's one of the things I absolutely love about my 350 is it's such an easy motorcycle to move around the garage. It's very low center of gravity. It's, uh, it's 400, this one's 420 pounds, but they push around so easy. A little faster than that, let's say, uh, 25 to 50 miles an hour. She's a dream. 25 to 70, let's say. She just does everything right. They are very predictable, very stable handling. They just kind of do everything like a straight arrow, you know? No, no big surprises. And because the center of gravity is so low, they're just so easy to handle, so easy to manage. That's one of the reasons, besides the sure wheelbase, that's one of the reasons we're able to turn this thing around so easily. The very low center of gravity. You know, let's take it out here a little bit. Let's do a little highway. Looks like we've got plenty of fuel. Seems to pick up just fine. There is road speed, 55 miles an hour. Gear indicator right there. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful day for a motorcycle ride here in Iowa. Look at the green fields, blue sky, clouds up there, biggest battleships. Life is good. Life is good. Wahoo! Now watch this. No cars coming from either direction. The brakes work wonderfully. And just a quick spin to get around, you know? Not a problem at all. Incredibly good handling in that sense. Very stable and predictable handling. I keep saying that because that's one of the key traits of this motorcycle, I would say, is how well it performs at that, you know, in, the, in, that, in the zero to 70 range. Well, let's park this thing and take a look at it. How about that? Okay, I talked about the engine already. 349 cc, single overhead cam, air and oil cooled. I like the way the heads are milled on this model. We got the shiny edges. The thing puts out about 20 horsepower, 20 foot pounds of torque. It's 27 newton meters. It's electronically fuel injected has a five-speed transmission, and on this model there's a heel shifter stock. So you've got the forward controls with a heel shifter right here. The thing has a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a two-piston bribery. It's also anti-lock. The rear, I believe, is a 270. Let me look here. Yep, 270 with a single pot bribery. Front tire is a 190-19, and the rear, check that out. By the way, check out the mags. That means they're tubeless tires too, by the way. The cast wheels are probably lighter, handle a little better. The rear is a 140 70 17. I like that. Check out that pipe, isn't that good looking? That's that AEW pipe we were talking about. Had a good sound, too. Forks on this hot rod 41 millimeter, right there. That's uh, 5.1 inches of travel up and down. It's about 130 millimeters. The rear has about three and a half inches of travel. That's uh, 89 millimeters and dual shocks. You can get shorty shocks for these. The seat height is 30.1 inches, which is 765 inches, but you can drop that. The shorty shocks, I think, will lower it another inch. And then you can do some magic up here and it'll lower the front a little bit too. So you might be able to get another inch, inch and a half maybe out of it to get it back down. So wheelbase on this hot rod, I've already talked about this. 55.1 inches, that's 1400 millimeters with about seven, I'm sorry, 6.7 inches of ground clearance. It's about 170 millimeters. And the fuel tank, that's one of the things I wish I had, a larger, I, bigger fuel tanks are always better, I believe. And this is a very good looking fuel tank, by the way. That's a four gallon fuel tank, 15.1 liters. The mass number, what does this thing weigh? Well, with a full tank of fuel, this thing weighs 421 pounds. It's 191 kilograms. Just a beautiful machine. You know, look over the details. I was calling this a mature or a, uh, you know, the, the more adult version of the 350, and it is for sure. I mean, uh, you know, this one has the windshield, it's got the larger tank, it's got better finish, I think, everywhere. You know, everything, look how low that fender goes. It just has a little more detail everywhere, you know, the big chrome muffler, the backrest. I love this backrest, by the way. Royal infield, that's metal backrest, and this is kind of milled into there, right there. And look at that taillight, just a gorgeous bike. Uh, let's talk about the uh, switch gear right quick. So, hopping up here, information button right back here right there pa flash to pass low beams high beams blinkers horn right here now something i always forget to show people is that right down here right here this thing that's a usb port the key has to be on for it to work i have that on my on my classic and i uh, i've used it a couple times just to see if it works and it works wonderfully let's see jumping over here kill switch run switch start switch all in one switch that little rocker switch right there and that color by the way is a throwback to days gone by you know back in the old days they had that then this is a hazard lights now this i call this the oculus it's got the single analog speedometer on the outside you turn it on check that out fuel light battery light abs light neutral light engine light then up here there's a digital fuel gauge on the top right there is the time always visible, a gear indicator always visible. And then uh, right here, you've got odometer. Now watch that, I'm gonna use the, the switch here to change the, those settings. Odometer, trip A, trip B, back to odometer. So, you know, everything you need right there. And the important things here are, it's got the gear indicator, the time's always showing, and it's got a visible fuel gauge. Now this has this nifty little windshield. Uh, the 100 mile ride that I did on the uh, Meteor the other day, that windshield kept the, the uh, 
I kept the air off my chest. My helmet was in the air and it was, it was pretty comfortable. I liked it. You know, RE right there. Check that out. Isn't that nice? Really well done. Something I always want to talk about too are these levers. You should really come to Baxter Cycle and check these out. These are some of the most comfortable, best feeling levers. You know, they got a good sweep here. They've got a good radius on the edges and they got good width. Combine that with these barrel shape and all type grips. I've talked about these before. I've called them hard and soft. You can come on here to Baxter Cycle and give those a squeeze. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's very tactile. It's very good. I like that. Uh, something else. Look, there's covers on the forks. You know, look, look at the, uh, you know, the chrome gas cap. The giant chrome badging, you know, with the enamel backing here. The black enamel backing. The chrome on this, you know. Even the pivot, swing arm pivot is chromed. It's just very well done. Very well done. Of course, tubeless tires because you have the mags. Uh, let's talk about the accessories. And uh, the list of those are right here. AEW Short Star Muffler, right there. We heard that running, and it's a good looking unit. It's got the touring windshield. I think that's the Royal Enfield product. This then there is the monotone saddlebag brackets. They're the chrome things back here. And then of course the bags themselves. Saddleman Highway saddlebags, it says. And I think, you, you know, when you have a bike like this, you really need somewhere to carry things and you know, put a jacket in and just keep things, gloves, whatnot. You know, really nice bike. It's a really good looking motorcycle, isn't it? Well, anyway, if you're interested in something like this, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. They got the Royal Enfield building here, the Triumph building over yonder. The back over there is full of classic antique motorcycles. That alone is worth the trip. Come here, go right to the vintage motorcycle part. It's hidden in the back, so ask them how to get there. Tell them Fuzzy sent you. They'll get you pointed in the right direction. Hey, life is good. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go ride, y'all do the same. Wahoo! Just got these Noru, <laughs> my summer gloves. <laughs>